peace and blessings to you all i hope this message finds you doing well um in this womb goddess video i want to talk about healing um sexual trauma and um sex intimacy sexual intercourse love making um and doing that and healing through um making love <clears throat> So before I get into this, I just want to preface. If you are new to watching my womb goddess um, videos, I am um, really just vlogging my experiences. Everything that I share is experiential. Um, you know, I work with my ancestors. I work with the spirits of my ancestors, angels. Um, I am a medium, so I channel these various energies. I have been healing my womb from... Um, you know, spiritually healing my womb, physically he healing my womb, um, connecting with my womb energies, um, connecting with my own womb spirit consciousness, and um, it has changed my life. I have healed a lot. Um, so if you, in, you know, if you are new to seeing my videos, that's what this is about. It's about healing, and it's about, um, you know, women who suffer in silence. And I am brave enough, you know, through spirit of my ancestors to really um just share just share some would say culturally you know don't be telling your business but i am here to share and to illuminate my healing process and hopefully it will bless you all um you know so that you can stand strong in your own healing journey now of course you know our womb is not necessarily all about you know sexual trauma trauma is trauma our womb holds um you know all types of trauma from from just any type of trauma that you experience and just daily life um you know just stuff and you might see the smoke in my video i'm burning some dragon's blood right now to kind of clear me out a bit while i t share with you um so you know we hold a lot of that in our womb so if you are the type of person who's like you know i have experienced all type of trauma in my life or whatnot but you just deal with shit you know and that deposits in your womb so it's important to connect with womb. now back to my situation i want to share with you um how i was able to engage in love making with my husband right after i healed or was still in a process of healing um a traumatic um memory so over, i'll just go back Hopefully and i'll just make it through to the end of the video so um for the past you know couple days prior to me healing this experience i was feeling um this this memory it kept popping up this trigger you know we have triggers and it just kept popping up and it just kept popping up and I, you know, and I kept saying, okay, mental note, mental note, because I am a sacred observer. And th part of how I heal is just by observing my thoughts, my feelings, what I feel in my body, what I'm feeling in my womb, what the, um, what the spirits are giving me, you know, guiding me. I, I'm a sacred observer. So I started to observe um, this, this trigger, this trigger, this trigger, you know, and I was just like, okay, I'm going to observe this. I'm going to observe this. And then it was time to heal. Now... I'm the type of person who get messages through um, upon arising. My ancestor gives me a lot of, they give me messages upon arising. So I actually was able to get into spirit and to heal this through, you know, early, you know, early rising when my ego was asleep and spirit was high to do this healing. So I began to do this healing, you know, and really going into this memory, living and leaning into it. Um, you know, deciding when you decide to lean into a memory or lean into an event or whatever it is, you are deciding that you are no longer going to be a victim to that. It's no longer going to control you. Spiritually, my higher self and my ancestors and through my spirits had me lean into that this, you know, that morning. So, you know, I began to get into that, get into that, you know, and I began to question, I began to feel, I began to relive, relive it, I began to heal it, I began to, um, you know, release it, you know, calling in, um, you know, goat light and all, all these types of various techniques, uh, visualization, releasing that person, forgiving myself, forgiving that person, because we are all light and shadow, um, you know, accepting myself. So I began to do all this healing upon arising you know all the while you know my husband 
he tapped me on my shoulder um, because it, it was time for some sexual healing for him and also for myself. You know, we have children, so when, we, when it's time to get it, it's time to get it, <laughs> okay? Um, so, you know, what I began to just, you know, I just continued to work. I could continue to work, and I um, went ahead and decided to come downstairs to you know to clear myself so i love dragon's blood i burn it you know often to help me clear i did that and i saw a feather in um one of my plants i was on my hiking trail and i a feather i was blessed with a feather and um you know i was just drawn to that feather i had stuck it in you know one of my plants um so it could just be surrounded in earth energy and um i used the feather to help clear my head and clear myself and you know um, and the dragons blood to help clear myself along with calling in light. Then I was actually able to connect with a spirit who, um, you know, she told me, Goddess Ushun, some of you may know the Arisha Goddess Ushun. Um, she, she came to me and I was able to tap into her sexual energy, her divine feminine energy to help me um, to up my, my sacred sexual energy. Um, and I was okay with that. I, I didn't have a problem with, um, you know, wanting and the desiring to make love with my husband, even as I was healing a traumatic sexual event. And with that, I'm just absolutely amazed because understanding that people who experience sexual trauma are, we're on a continuum. Some of us are completely just over sexualized and some of us are completely under sexualized. Some of us are frigid. And, um, you know, I experienced this even before, before consciously deciding to heal my womb. I'm um, just doing the work and just, you know, wanting to connect with my um, sexual energies prior to even my ancestors coming to me and they're like, you know, do this, do this, do this, do, do this. Um, you know, and this is something that I dealt with in a relationship with my husband where, you know, literally it was times where he would touch me and not even necessarily touch me in his sleep. And I would literally grab his wrist like like he was an enemy. And in, in this is my husband, okay? There is nothing but love. He is my king, my God, my best friend, my everything. And he has been through me from through everything, okay? Um, but even so, knowing that, I still... Psh, grabbed it grabbed his hand and so much that he dealt with because people who experience sexual trauma their mates suffer you know many areas in their life suffer because they're suffering um you know and it just affects everything it affects everything you know so i bless my husband for that even now i send him love and light and bless him for just being with me and just walking with me so Given that, I felt the energy of a shoon and I was already calling in healing and calling in light to, um, you know, in, in up in my sexual energy because I still desire, yeah, I heal, you know, a traumatic event, but I desire to be with my, my, my man, my husband, okay? You know, so um, she gave me a lot of sexual energy and I had a very spiritual event with my husband where... We were making love and I was completely 100% in spirit because what she expressed to me is that allow this to be part of your healing. Allow sexual energy to heal you, sexual creation, divine sexual energy. My husband, you know, he's my covering in this moment, um, you know, and he's given me love. He's given me energy. He's given me light. He's given himself to me and I'm giving myself to him. So as we began to make love, I was 100% in spirit. And it is not something that is out of the ordinary for me. A lot of times I see all kind of colors and stuff when I'm making love. Literally, he make me see colors. <laughs> um, you know, and I see these things um, in, in spirit while we're making love. A lot of the times I see hot red passion and I'll connect to my sacral chakra, my energy center, um, which is represented by the color orange. Um, you know, so I began to connect with that and then I saw the red passion and I began to see a... Um, a lotus flower and my flower just be totally just started opening up and it started opening up and it, and it just blossomed you know so my sexual um experience was incredibly healing it really topped off what i had already did um prior to him asking me to you know let's roll over um you know so i, I am just in awe of this experience i wanted to share with you um you know thank you for witnessing me i i'm 
I don't even know. I'm like speechless of how I was able to do that because I um just because of the trauma in my past, but it's paying off when you put energy into healing yourself, you will have these experiences. And many moons ago, I took time to observe my um, sexual energies, to play around with my sexual energies. I took and I went through every single stage of my cycle. I observed and I did some videos on that each phase of how my sexual energies were through each phase of my cycle and put an energy to that. So now I'm reaping what I had already sown you know, several moons ago and even, you know, working through my sexual energy, co-creating with my sexual energy, manifesting and setting goals through sexual energy and so much other work that I have already done that it does not surprise me that I can, I can face in my shadow, deal with a traumatic memory and then turn around and still be able to make love with my husband and allow that also to be healing for me, you know, because I put in the energy in, in doing that and I'm so incredibly blessed to be led through my womb spirit, my ancestral spirits in doing this. This is completely experiential for me. Like I said, I'm a sacred um, observer about my own my own self i don't put a lot of information in my head about womb healing and things of that of that nature because i don't want any of that to really affect my own personal experience and my own healing journey so you know thank you so much for witnessing me this is just me just being raw and just sharing my experience and i just want to encourage you if you are a person who sex suffer from any sexual dysfunction or you know just related to trauma you know i just want to encourage you to Think about healing yourself. Think about connecting to your own body sexually. And I've been doing that with myself outside of my husband, connecting with my own divine feminine energy and my own sacred sexual energy. And it has been very, very helpful for me, you know, very helpful for me. So thank you so much for witnessing me. God bless you.